In Creole Parametric, you can use layers in a drawing for managing the visibility of your detail items and performing collective operations. In this video, we will take a look at a lot of background to layers. We'll take a look at the number one mistake people make with layers, what layers are, the relationship between model layers and drawing layers, and the different sources of layers in your drawing. Once we cover that background information, then in the next video, we will go into creating your own layers manually and managing visibility. Okay, so here I have a drawing open. Let's talk about the number one mistake people make when they are working with layers, and that's not saving the status. Right now, I am on the Layout tab. Let me go to the View tab. What will happen is, People will change the visibility of different entities, like they'll hide things or they'll hide layers. And then the next time they pull open the drawing, they're like, hey, what happened to all the different settings that I applied? Well, if you're changing visibility settings, but you're not saving the status, then Creole Parametric is not going to remember those changes you made to the visibility. So there are a couple different ways that you can get to the status command for saving changes to layer visibility. One is from the View tab in the Visibility group, where I am right now. The other way is from the Layer tree itself. In the drawing, I'm going to go to the Drawing tree. Here is a Layer tree icon. Be aware that I am making this video in Creo 11. If you are in a much older version like Creo 7 or earlier, things are going to look a little different based on how the trees were updated. But anyhow, I'm going to click on the layer tree icon. I have my layers configured to be displayed in their own floating window. I'll talk more about that later on. But here I have the different layers in this particular drawing. If I hold down the right mouse button in the pop-up menu, we also have access to the save status command. So you can click Save Status, and then you actually need to save the drawing. Save Status alone will not save the drawing. So Save Status, then hit the Save button. Again, if you want Creo to remember how your drawing should look the next time you, you retrieve it, don't forget to use Save Status. But anyhow, now let's talk about what layers are. Well, they are containers of objects. And if you are familiar with layers in any other CAD program, especially AutoCAD, well, layers in Creole Parametric work completely differently. Like in AutoCAD, you have a zero to 255 numbering scheme. You don't have that in Creole. In AutoCAD, everything is on a layer by default. That's not true in Creole. Things don't have to be on layers. Objects can be on multiple layers, and you can even have layers on layers. So the main reason to use layers in a drawing, managing visibility. You can associate items to a layer, and then you can hide that layer in order to turn off their display. But you can also use it for collective operations, like if you want to erase objects or if you want to delete them. So now that we know about what layers are, let's talk about the relationship between layers in a drawing and layers in a model. And that's controlled by detail options. I will click on the file command and then go to prepare and drawing properties. This opens up a dialog box. I'm going to click on the blue change hyperlink to the right of detail options. And that's going to open up this dialog box. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and then scroll up to find the options for layers. It's in here. So there, there they are. These options control layers. And you'll see that there are three different options in here. If you are in a much older version of Creole Parametric, then you're only going to have two of the options in here. But let's talk about the first option. The drawing layer overrides the model, and the default value is no. What that means is that items that are assigned to a model layer will be assigned to a layer in the drawing with the same name. The next option that we'll take a look at is actually the third option. And this is ignore model layer status. And the default value of that is yes. And what that means is that the layers in the drawing and the layers in the model are independent of one another. 
And I really think that's what you want. I recommend that you keep this set to yes. So that way you can mess around with the visibility settings in the part or the assembly, but in the drawing, they're going to be controlled separately. And that way you can control what's visible on your drawing sheets. And the other option that is in here is drawing layers, new model, show all. And what that means is that when you add a new model to your drawing, by default, all of the layers for that model are going to be visible. Uh, the default value is yes. You might want to change that to no. Some people like to have all their layers hidden because typically their layers are going to be managing the visibility of their datums and they don't want their datums visible on the drawing sheet. So you can get to those three options from the detail options dialog box. Another place you can get to them is from your layer tree. Let me close and then close. And once again, I will click on this icon to get to my layer tree. You can also get to it from the view tab. And then I will go to the settings drop down. Oops, that's operations. The settings drop down menu. And here we have the drawing layer status. I'll click on that. This opens up the layer status control dialog box. And the first one is ignore display status of layers in the model. That's like that second option that I talked about in the detail options dialog box. So here it's set to yes. And that means that the display status of common layers is controlled separately in the drawing. The second choice is no. The display status of layers is controlled by the model. You make a change to the visibility setting for a model layer. The drawing layer is going to update. And then there is a third option, all. This was added a few versions ago. The display status of all layers is controlled separately in the drawing. And then right below, we have change the display of model layers in drawing mode only when the model layer name is the same as the drawing layer name. That's the same as that detail option for draw layer overrides model. Okay, so those are the different options. And by the way, you will notice again that I have my layer showing up as a free floating window. That's because I have a hidden config.pro option turned on, one that I've liked for years and years. Let me go to File, Options, and then Options, then Configuration Editor, and I will scroll down to the option. It is called Floating Layer Tree. And again, it's a hidden option. If you try using the Find button in order to locate it, you're not going to locate it. You're going to have to type it in manually and exactly correct in your config.profile. And again, I have mine set to yes. And around Creo 8, this was supposed to be disabled, but it's still in there and I still use it. I still like it. All right, the last thing to cover in this video, where do you end up getting layers in your drawing? Let me cancel out of here and then go to my layer tree. You can see that I already have several layers that are in this particular drawing? Well, the first place that you are going to end up getting your layers from is the 3D model, the part or the assembly. Let me change to the assembly that is used in this drawing. Okay, and once again, I will go to the layer tree and I'll go to this button here for the layer tree. You can see these are all the different layers that are in the assembly. A lot of these come over from the PTC standard template that you can use, the ones that are located in the load point where Creole Parametric is installed on your computer. And there are a few custom layers, manually created layers, in this particular model. So that's one source of them. And speaking of model templates, let me go to my particular model template. And here's my start part for metric models. And I'll go to the layer tree. This time I'll go to view and then layer tree. And here are the layers that I have set up in my default template. template. So when I create a brand new part, well, these are the layers that are going to end up in there. The second place where your layers in your drawing can come from 
are your drawing templates. Let me change over to my drawing template. And so this is one that I created. I will go to this layer tree. Let me click on the layer tree icon from the drawing tree. And here are some of the layers that I have set up in my drawing template. So for example, symbols will automatically get associated to this layer, notes, geometric tolerances. I have one for draft entities. I have three different ones for dimensions and then a layer that contains those three layers for my dimensions. And one thing I want to note is that when you are creating layers in your template for things like draft entities or your notes, well, this is a good idea to set them up so that they don't collect everything that already exists in your template. What I mean by that is that I have a rule set up here. And if you go to the options drop down menu, I do not have associative checked for this layer. So any notes that were created before the creation of this layer do not are not associated with this layer. I just want any new notes that someone creates to be associated with this layer. The existing notes that are in my drawing template, I want them visible all the time. I'm not going to be controlling their visibility. Okay, let me cancel out of here and close this layer tree. A third place that your layers in a drawing can come from are config options. And I don't know too many people who do this, but let me mention it because it is in the software. If you go to File, Options, Options, and then let me go to the Configuration Editor, and I will type in the Find button, and I'll look for def underscore layer, and hit the Enter key. And so you can set this config.pro option to a value for a kind of entity. So for example, here we have datum plane. Let me scroll down. We have draft entity. We have note. So those are some of the different things that you could have in a drawing or a model. And so you can first give the config.pro option one of these object types, and then the name of a layer to be created whenever one of those entities is created in the model or the drawing. So just be aware that there is this def layer config.pro option that can be used for automatically creating layers when a certain kind of entity is created in a model or a drawing. And the fourth and final way of creating layers in a drawing is creating them manually. So for example, if I click on my, oops, let me actually get back to an actual drawing and not my template. Here is the drawing. I will go to my layer tree. You can right mouse click in the layer tree and choose new layer. And this is the dialog box for creating a brand new layer. And we'll go into this in detail in part two, as well as managing the visibility of different entities on your drawing. Thank you very much.